I need to get 20 pounds bigger. That's what Chet told me, what he got as feedback from the judges. I'm like, I'm going to die if I do that. <laughs> What's up, guys, and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Not a single athlete that was mentioned in that video posted by Mr. Olympia TV had an issue with the content on that video. In fact, most were thankful for the honest critique given by the panelists. It was just a poor choice of words used in the thumbnail. So, not only was that video taken down, but Tariq Al Gwindi, who is the host of the Primetime Muscle and also an Olympia judge, he has published a public apology. Not only that, Tariq apologized to Ian and James as well. And as I said previously, none of them had a problem with the content. I'm gonna put Ian's response here as well. Personally, I think these guys at the primetime muscle are doing a very great job. And I think all of the bodybuilding fans would really like these guys to continue to do their work. What kind of a protocol Chad used to transform William Martins into a freak of nature in just one year? Just look at this comparison. One is from 2022 at the peak of his offseason and the other one is current. Do you guys know what's crazy? He still has another six weeks dedicated to this year's offseason before he starts his prep. And he is already over 340 pounds. So are they going to chase 350? Because as far as I know, only Big Romy was this heavy in the last decade or so. So whether he gets to 350 or not, this brutal offseason has to pay off in the form of William's first professional win and the Olympia qualification. He has maintained a solid body composition throughout this phase. And that is a big victory for this guy. The size of his waist has pretty much remained the same, which is another very big win. I am actually excited to see him prep with Chad Nichols and maybe bring something very unique to the bodybuilding stage this year. First of all, I don't think there's a chance in hell for you to gain 20 pounds of pure muscle. Bro, I, I would even, I, I would even cry. Is, William Barnack opened up on Muscle and Fitness Podcast and he touched on everything from the Arnold Classic 2022 when he should have won to his last Olympia performance which according to him was the worst performance of his career if he would rate it physique wise. So has Barnack made up his mind on retirement? Well one thing is certain after this podcast. William Barnack will say goodbye to the bodybuilding fans on stage by doing a bodybuilding show this year uh like like you know i'm not gonna do a, i don't want to do a show this year focus for next year more you know just to give the body the rest that is needed and then uh come back another two more years see how it goes and then uh say goodbye man to my fans you know i want to have the opportunity to at least say goodbye on stage understand to uh, mention hey this is my last show he also mentioned rolly winkler in this conversation and Roly really regrets not announcing that this will be his last show of his career. I am sure a guy like Roly would have gotten a standing ovation by the fans and the crowd. He was always the fan favorite. Um, I like what happened with Roly because I know he really feels bad about that, you know, that he didn't get the opportunity to say goodbye. So I'm sure William Bonac has some sincere people in his corner giving him great advice that he needs as he is a family man and he has accomplished so many things in bodybuilding as an IFB pro. So maybe it is time to focus on family and longevity. I will not be surprised if William Bonac retires whenever he competes next year. Three of us are type of people they would tell you it's time to hang it up uh yeah. focus on the family uh so hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you want to come back for more thanks for watching